this quick video I wanted to cover off um, advanced folder permissions. So this is a user requested um, uh, explanation uh, from our YouTube channel comments. Um, so one thing I'm, I'm using here is the TVS-H1288X. I do have QTS running on it rather than QUTS Hero. Um, so in this example I'm going to show you the difference between the two um, with advanced folder permissions enabled and without. Uh, so here on this one right now, I don't have advanced folder permissions enabled. If I go up to in the control panel under the privilege shared folders and advanced permissions, I don't have it selected at the moment. And what this basically means is when you're looking at your shares. So if I'm going to use the public uh, share here that's created by default as an example, if I go across to the shared folder permission, it's really simply laid out very few options. So here I've got the public uh, folder there. I've got options for read only, read write and deny access. And that's really it that I can do. I can't really change anything else. Now, if I show you within that folder, so if I go to file station and go to the public folder, I have a subfolder one and a subfolder two. So the only thing I can change without advanced folder permissions is the permissions of the main public share uh, shared folder and whenever I change a permission at that public shared folder, it changes for everything within it. And I can't set different permissions um, within that folder. So if I was to come and uh, enable um, advanced folder permissions, so if I go here and tick enable advanced folder permissions, says are you sure it's going to enable it for all subfolders? Um, so do I want to continue? I'm going to say yes. Please note that if you do this on a NAS that's been in use for a while with a lot of data and a lot of subfolders, um, it might take um, a little while for this to actually apply. Um, as this is being done on a fairly freshly installed uh, NAS, it's not going to take very long on this one at all. Um, so that one's now done. I've enabled advanced folder permissions. So now if I go back to the shared folders option and click on the um, edit shared folder permission button, it looks a little bit different now. Got an extra column for special permission. Um, I won't cover that in this video, but um, you can click the eye there if you want to and it will tell you just or you can pause the video here. Um, but it basically just gives some special rights um, that, to, to the root of the folder. Um, now what we'll notice is there's a little arrow next to the public folder. So now I can have, um, let's say, read and write uh, for the admin user, which will be propagated throughout. But now I can expand the levels down. So maybe on subfolder two down here, I want to give the everyone group read and write permission. But on the main folder, I'm oh, sorry, I do have to apply that, so I'll apply that one. So here on subfolder two, if I go read and write for everybody, I can apply that one. Now, if I go back to subfolder one, they only have read only access, but on subfolder two, they have read and write. So, and on the main root of the public folder, they still um, only have read only access. But as somebody was to browse through the folders and anybody in the everyone group, once they got down to subfolder two, the everyone user now has read and write. Um, so that's what advanced folder permissions basically does. It allows you to set permissions not just at the root level of the share, you can do it within it. Um, so an example of this is maybe you have a, a finance share and the entire accounting team is allowed read and write access um, to the whole finance share. Um, but perhaps within that finance share, there is a, uh, a payroll folder. And within that folder, um, you only want maybe the financial controller and maybe one other assistant to have access to that folder, not the whole accounting team. Um, so in that example, you could set um, everybody's group um, to have access, everybody in the finance group to have full read and write access to the main share. But then you would deny access for that group um, to the uh, payroll folder and then maybe just add the two users that need to be added uh, that are allowed payroll access for the read and write for that folder. Um, so you can set lots of different permissions within that, uh, within the, the structure, not just at the root level. Um, so that's the main difference uh, when using um, advanced folder permissions or not, um, is that you can go down to the subfolder level to set different permissions uh, for different users and different groups. Okay, um, so if anybody does have any questions, please do let us know in the comments section below and I'll try and help you out. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi, thanks for watching our keynote video. And if you enjoyed the video, why not click like and subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comment below. 
If you have any questions or you would like to see anything content in a future video, why don't you drop Craig and our team an email at youtube underscore uk at qnet.com. See you in the next one.